Welcome back to the channel. This is Aaron and this is for the love of tech. I'm here because I love technology. You're here because you love technology and more importantly, I love coffee. So today I am doing a matchup, if you will, a test, a comparison between the Sony WF-1000XM3s. Did I get that right? I did. The Google Pixel Buds and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. So there's a couple features, a couple differences that I wanna go ahead and review with you. Just five things. Ease of connectivity. How easy are these to actually connect to your phone? The phone of choice we're using today is the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Next, we're gonna look at call quality. We're gonna go ahead and leave a voicemail and we're gonna see and hear, probably hear, <laughs> we're gonna hear with our ears how it actually sounds and how it picks up my voice. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the ambient sound features and how effective it is. I'm going to play some music in the background and I'm going to let you guys know how strong or not I can actually hear the ambient noise around me. Then we're going to go ahead and see if there is a find my buds feature because that's another thing that's launching and it's really trendy and, and popular. You lose a bud, it falls out of your ear instead of looking everywhere do we have a button to hit find me last but not least is the actual sound quality for inside our ears how does it sound when listening to music we're gonna listen for clear sound low bass nice mids and trebles and how it all kind of pulls together because we got these tiny little buds in our ears jam-packed full of technology are they working The first in our lineup of pairing up is going to be the Sony WF-1000 XM3s. From what I recall, these do not have the best pairing experience. There was a little bit of uh, complications switching from device to device. So I had some problems with it in the past. We're gonna go ahead and just see how that looks right now. So I put them in my ears and it immediately announced the Bluetooth pairing and I got a couldn't connect notification so actually the earbud got stuck in my ear and i want you to know that was slightly terrifying google assistant is helping me connect to these pair okay good job google assistant that was pretty awesome we we got these uh completely activated so that is awesome the key was we had to hold them down to reset them long enough in order to make it work so it would enter a proper pairing mode switching from devices if you have multiple cell phones like me, you want to use uh, your Sony's. They're a little bit difficult to switch the pairing. My experience, I've done other videos on my experience with it. My experience has not changed, but the Google Assistant kicked in and paired these up for us and it was phenomenal. Good job, Google Assistant. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the Samsung Galaxy Buds. So we're going to go ahead and just open these up. Aaron's Galaxy Buds, wow, connect. Those paired up like, wow, super quick, super easy. Next, we're gonna do the Google Pixel Buds and we're just gonna open this case up and we're gonna see if it recognizes it or if I have to hit the button on the back. So we're gonna press that and just hold it for a second until maybe something happens. It says right here, try to pair. Boom. So there's the Google Assistant kicking in again and pairing my device for me. So great job, Google Assistant pairing both of those devices up. The Assistant is really kicking in and bringing that whole experience and making it nice and easy. So good job, Samsung 5.0 Bluetooth and a great job, Google Assistant. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some call quality testing. Now, how we're gonna do call quality testing is pretty simple. I'm going to put in the earbuds and I'm going to make a phone call from my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then I'm going to let you listen to those audio clips and how they actually sound. And we're gonna see which one sounds better. We're gonna use a very, very basic script. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing 
audio voice quality sony wf 1000 xm3 testing the voice call quality on the samsung galaxy buds plus voice audio quality on the google pixel buds testing testing one two three four testing testing one two three four testing the voice audio quality on the google pixel buds Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing the voice call quality on the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Testing audio voice quality, Sony WF-1000XM3. Thanks Nomadic Gear for supporting the channel. I'm kind of known for spending a ridiculous amount of money on luggage and high-end backpacks. Then I came across Nomadic Bags and I absolutely fell in love with the Nomadic Backpack and now I'm in love with the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This is a two bag in one type of deal and it will not disappoint you. If you're in the market for some new luggage, a messenger bag, or a backpack that's big enough to take on a trip and still carry on the plane, then look no further. Take a moment and check them out. Link is in the description. Don't forget to click on the red sale link at the top of the page. You'll thank me later. Back to the video. Next, we're gonna go ahead and activate the ambient sound noise cancellation features. Now, each of these has their own app built in. So we're probably gonna to have to go to the app and activate these features. And I'm gonna show you that it is pretty easy to do that. As I was sliding that little scale back and forth, activating, deactivating, increasing, decreasing the ambient sound, and it actually brought my surroundings into my ears. We're going to move on to the Samsung ambient sound off or on. So in, I can not even listening to music right now, I can hear my voice really well. And if I turn it off, I can hear my voice muffled. I like something is in my ears, plugging them up like a couple of Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. When these first came out, I used these exclusively when I was on my bike ride for a couple of reasons. They stayed in my ears really, really well. Not just the Buds Plus, just the original Buds. On the bike, it would let me hear if there was a car coming behind me, footsteps, a door. I mean, it was almost creepy spy mode if I had it turned up all the way. Samsung is is definitely doing it better than Sony. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go to Pixel. From what I can see here, there's not really a ambient sound mode. There's just an adaptive sound mode. So let's see if we have to activate the music in order to get that to work. The adaptive sound when activated was ever so slight. Didn't really have an ambient mode, a noise cancellation. I don't even know if I was in the right environment. The examples it gives on the website is moving through New York, going in a busy area, you know, things of that nature. It adjusts the sound, maybe. We didn't really have any ambient noise, anything. So Google Pixel Buds, a bit of a fail if you don't mind for me in that regard. So you have room for improvement. So let's move on to the next category. Next is the Find My Buds. So we're gonna come over here and toss one there, toss one there. We're gonna go ahead and go into the Sony app and see if there's some sort of lost my earbuds, find my Sony thingies somewhere. I am not seeing any feature like that anywhere. So I don't think the Sony's have this kind of feature. So that's kind of a thumbs down, but at the same time, the Sony's are a little bit older, whereas the other ones are a little bit newer. So it could be that the next version of these, when they come out, they will be there. Here we go. We have our Galaxy Buds. We're gonna put one here, put one there. Oh my God, where are they? Where did they go? I lost my Galaxy Buds, help. Find my earbuds. So we have a feature right there. Um, start. 
So you can see what happened. It started off low. It's making like an annoying little chirp sound. And it's coming out of here. So we have the left on mute. So we found the left. Great. And the right is still chirping. That's how that worked. Easy peasy. Good job, Samsung. And now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Pixel Buds and see if the Pixel Buds have a feature like that. So you can do ring left. It's ever so slightly. And now it's getting louder. So it says right earbud ringing. Here it is. It makes a noise. So if it's within connectivity range, it just makes a noise. It's a simple feature. Sony, get with the program, will ya? Next, we're gonna run through and just do a straight sound comparison. I want to put these up back to back in rapid succession against each other, and I want to hear which ones are the bassiest, which ones have the best treble, which ones have the best overall experience. And I'm gonna start with uh, the Sony's and we're just gonna run through. Okay. Okay. Let's just review, right? Sony's. $229, fast charging USB-C, some ambient active noise cancellation goodness built into it. Little bit complicated. I'll be honest guys, I used to think sounded really good until I put them up against the Pixel Buds and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus all at the same time in one video. And I'm here to tell you that the Sony's are not the superior Earbuds, I know everybody is gonna uh, <laughs> They're all gonna start breathing fire at me about it, but I'm telling you, they are not superior. Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, I believe they were 149. The best ambient noise feature of all of them. They sounded great. They had a lot of different options, a lot of very easy features to use. User interface of this, the built-in app, really awesome. Big thumbs up, Samsung, you did a great job. You know what you're doing. These, they did not have much of an ambient noise cancellation, anything other than I have a couple of earbuds plugged into my ears. They didn't have much of an equalizer, not really any settings for me to change. And I wasn't aware of that until just now. I feel like these sounded the best, but the fact that they lack additional features is a little disappointing. Hopefully that will come out in an update. If not, Google is taking a very Apple-esque approach saying, this is how you should listen to these and this is how they should sound and don't mess with our sound settings. But they sounded great. If I had to rate these in order, I'm thinking of everything. I'm thinking overall, I'm thinking productivity. I'm thinking which one of these, if I have to pick only one is going to come with me into the world. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I'm going for the Samsung Galaxy Buds. There's nothing that these do not have. So I'm really, really happy about that. Head down to the comments and tell me what you think. Which one of these do you think is superior? Do you have experience with all of them, one of them? Which one do you prefer? Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, for the love of tech, namaste. And if you really wanna pay me the ultimate creator compliment, share my content with your friends and family on your social media. Till next time, thank you.